<laughs> well, good morning, you all heard. I am Commissioner Viviana Jayner. I am the Vice Chair of the Osceola Board of County Commissioner, and also I'm honored to be the Secretary of the Central Florida Commuter Rail, bringing you SunRail here today. As you've all heard, today is a really important day in our history, not only for Central Florida, but specifically for Osceola County. You are sitting right here at the crossroads of opportunity and progress, and I couldn't be prouder. When I was asked to speak about the importance of SunRail coming to Osceola County, I needed only to look back on my personal experience. When I grew up using mass transit in New York City, people just don't think twice about hopping on the subway, taking the bus, or even the fer ferry. It's ingrained in the DNA of New York City residents. We use them to go to school, to go to work, to connect with family, to go shop, to go have fun on the weekends. Every day, I would get on the subway, haul in my books. It's, uh, I'm an accountant, so those books, we didn't have PDAs, so they were pretty big. But I was happy to haul that subway and take that train so I could go to school. Without mass transit, without public transportation, my education would have not been possible. When service starts here in 2017, it is my hope that SunRail and its related systems will work to provide, to weave themselves into our daily lives of our residents so that they will connect to new opportunities and progress in pursuit of their dreams. The Kissimmee Amtrak station behind me is truly a multimodal station. It's going to bring people to downtown Kissimmee. It's gonna help our workforce connect to jobs throughout the region. That's progress. Our station at Poinciana Industrial Park is going to do great things for a large segment of our population that often feels disconnected from the rest of Central Florida. It's another opportunity for students, businesses, and residents. And the Tupperware station is really, really exciting. And it's not just because it's in my district. <laughs> but um, you'll hear and see more about that in just a minute uh, from Tom Rourke of Tupperware Brands. We have a little map up there he's going to show you. But more importantly, what is this all going to mean for the residents of Osceola County? You only need to look back 30 years before the Osceola Parkway was built. One of Ventura Lakes residents, which is also in my district, had no easy way to get in and out to, to the, of the community to go to work. Osceola Parkway opened up new opportunities, and so will SunRail. SunRail also means economic impact. Approximately $57 million in business sales through constructions, operations, and maintenance. Thousands of construction jobs, you heard about construction before. Thousands will be, are expected to be created right here in Osceola County. And thousands of permanent jobs projected as well. It means enhanced property values. It's gonna add approximately an additional $18 million to the county's property tax base in 20 years. An additional $62 million in sales tax Collect, revenue connection is also projection, projected within 30 years. As, all of, as a lot of you know, I'm a numbers girl. What do all those numbers add up to? Two things, progress and opportunity, where we're standing at now. And we wouldn't be here at these crossroads without the help of many, and you've heard about them, but I would like to take a moment on behalf of Osceola County to thank certain people for this uh, signing of the full funding grant agreement for phase two south. First, I'd like to thank my fellow members of the Central Florida Commuter Rail, Mayor Dyer specifically, thank you, Mayor Dyer. County staff, which has worked tirelessly for many years to bring a sun rail to o Osceola County. Often they go unnoticed, but I wanna say thank you to our county manager and to our staff. Metro plan. Harry, I didn't forget you. Thanks to Metro Plan for your all your work in, on this. Uh, FDOT, Naran, and all you, uh, and all you, all, all of you at the FDOT. Our congressional delegation that has worked tirelessly, championed SunRail 
for all of us. Congressman John Micah, Congressman Alan Grayson, Congresswoman Corinne Brown, I know personally have taken a vested interest not to be left out, Senator Nelson and Congressman Daniel Westberg. Thank you to all.